And here we have the lovely tricep V-bench, an underutilized exercise, one of my favorite tricep exercises ever. So let's go over how to set it up and how to do it correctly. So first thing, we wanna look at this. This is adjustable, but always leave it at the bottom. Now, if you wanna know the why, then stick around. But for now, we're just gonna do the setup. The next thing is I like to take out these pins. Unless you're really tall, then you don't actually want those pads up much at all. Next thing is the foot plate. So we wanna adjust that to a point where it's comfortable. So you might have to play around with this, but just as an example, first of all, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's set too, too close to the weight stack. Now, you can see here, my legs are quite straight and it's not providing me a lot of stability. I'm not really locked in, um, so I don't like it too far back. Now here you can see that it's gonna be set up way too close. So it's not giving me a lot of room um, to set up. And you can see like my bum is actually closer, like as my bum is behind my knees, which it's just, this is not stable at all. So that sucks. So the place that's gonna work best is somewhere in the middle. Um, and depending on how tall you are basically. Now for me, this is just right. You can see my bum is just a little bit forward of my knees and I'm getting plenty of support um, and I don't feel like I'm too far away or too squashed, so that's good. Next, we're going to look at your elbow position. So where your elbows are sitting relative to the actual pad. So you wanna have your elbows just far enough, like just clear of the pad so that you don't feel like the pad is getting in the way of your elbows during the exercise. Now I'll show you here, this is when my elbows are well forward of the pad and we're not getting a lot of stability. We wanna actually like work the pad as a fulcrum for the pivot point of the exercise. So you want your elbow as close as possible to it, but not too far over it. Now next, we're gonna look at what it looks like, uh, what your arm position should be during the exercise. Now, when I'm on here, I'm thinking, trying to keep my elbows close to each other. If you let them flare out too much, you're gonna get more of your shoulder and your upper back involved in the exercise and take less pressure. You're gonna put less pressure on the tricep. So you can see out here, my elbows are coming wide and it's becoming more of a compound movement, less of a tricep isolating movement. Now there's no wrong way to do this, but if you wanna isolate your triceps, keep your elbows closer together. Now here's a little tip to actually get the exercise started. Once you've got enough weight on there, it might be a little bit hard to start the exercise from the floor. So you can just sort of stand up and um, force your way down like that. Now you can see here, my elbows are probably going a little bit too far off the pad. And you can see there's a bit of shoulder movement happening in here as well, which means that no, it's not isolating the triceps completely from everything else, but like many exercises, once the weight gets up to a certain level, uh, it's difficult to keep things isolated. Now here I've just dropped the weight a little bit so I can keep my form a little bit more on point. Now you can see that my elbows are quite close to the pad. I'm supported through my legs. There's not too much full body movement happening. There's, you can see there's a little bit. Um, you wanna try and minimize that as much as you can, but this is, this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. So there you have it, tricep V-bench, one of the best exercises for triceps in my opinion now you know how to do it go and do it